Hi all, hope all are doing well and welcome back. So this is going to be the last in the New York vlog series. So I decided let's just explore Yonkers, which is the place we lived in when we lived in New York for the vacation. So let's get started. There was a little farmers market nearby the house where we lived in. So I thought let me explore it. Yes, Shinu is shaking the camera very badly. I don't know why I was so much enjoying the moment. I even failed to know the camera was shaking or the video was not of good clarity but that was a, a moment of enjoyment. It just went on there were a lot of tiny tiny shops, fresh fruits, vegetables and what not you have everything fresh from the market from the person who's selling it directly you had even spice plants which my friend was so much interested in I'll tell you why she was so much interested in such things later on towards the last of this video can you see how fresh it is you can literally see the mud on the vegetables you had clothes you had even toys which were so surprising and finally we were asking were they making toys also was it like a farmer thing we were just kidding them but i know how much of effort goes into a farmer's market i appreciate the effort people put in a lot of people were visiting and buying stuffs which is also another appreciable act Look at the toy which my baby was so much attracted to. Even I would love to get one when if I was my baby. So that's that's the thing. That's a baby thing. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of tiny, tiny tents which actually reminded me of India. And I got very nostalgic here because um, in India normally you can when you go to an exhibition or a ground like that, you'll see a lot of small, tiny stores which will sell snacks stationery and other stuffs. It's a beautiful time out there in India. After the farmer's market, we kept on walking to another place which was actually the focus of today's trip. It was the Hudson River. So we kept on walking and we reached the Hudson River. It was not very pleasing for the sight because it was little polluted, little dirty. But I loved that feel. I basically loved the feel of New York because it purely reminded me of India and that vibes were so much there. Little dirtiness is fine. I know you will accept with me. So this is the Hudson River. So somebody is so touristy out here. She was the only person who looked like a real tourist in New York. She was having a hat, a sleeveless dress, having fun. And she was like saying duck, duck out there. Yeah, and the, in the water there were lots and lots of ducks. That was something which was so much attractive for her she found that so much attractive and she was like I want to go there let me go new place of course new restrictions I was so much cautious about things but she looked really pretty in this cap don't you think I love the cap we kept on going and you have a, a point where you can stand and view the whole river which gave a beautiful view I'll just show you in few minutes how it was it was a long hallway kind you have to walk and reach the viewpoint where a lot of people were coming back after seeing it it was not a very neat neat place but the place itself has its own positive vibes a lot of water a lot of people a lot of homeless people <laughs> that I have to mention there's lots and lots of homeless people in New York so that is also one more thing which reminded me of India so yeah we rushed to the viewpoint and as you can see, a moment you reach there, you get that cool breeze which is worth the walk from the home. Look at that, that's a beautiful thing. I loved the complete scene itself. Basically the waters, tall buildings near the waters, everything was such a beautiful sight for me. We took a very long walk from home to reach here. so. The walk was really given appreciated by this view itself. Look at that green hills. I don't know if it's properly green because it was so sunny, so bright, such a beautiful day. The water were green. I normally say I don't like green waters but this time I was like mesmerized. I was looking at it again and again. It had something to say. It had that beauty which I never did see in anywhere in New York. Only this place was so much near to my heart, if I have to say. Yeah, more about that place, I think so it was almost time for us to leave. So we just told a tata bye bye to this place and we were moving out. 
at that point we remembered about seeing a little floating restaurant from the viewpoint and we thought let us go and explore it but unfortunately it was a private thing or something we would not be able to go inside so yeah sadly we came back and by the way back we saw this tall chair where you can not take photos you can just see and come back that's all and little more few more statues after the river visit back home we saw a lot of statues and lot of beautiful buildings which catched my view and i've taken little glimpses of the buildings as we walked back i found two things very interesting one was a beautiful beautiful church this was in the signal so i was not able to go like cross and go take a picture so i just took a glimpse of it as we walked this was that beautiful church people like it was i was right below it so the view is actually like i'm lying down and taking the picture no it was so huge so i was not even able to cover it it was so beautiful yeah the memories i can just recollect everything right now i'm uploading this very late i know but looking back is awesome yeah back home to the new york home if i have to say yeah we reached back to our friends home and this was the place where we lived in because this is the last vlog i have to show something very special which my friends have made in this home they have literally changed this house into a home do you want to know how i never missed kerala when i was here because they have literally started a small gardening or, or if i have to say that's a small farm in itself they had almost all the vegetables it was hard work i cannot even just imagine and i would not even just dreamt of having a garden vegetable garden in a place like us everything was having this was a bitter gourd tree there i'm sorry not tree very bad at agriculture <laughs> plant or a creeper yeah that would be right it literally had the hanging bitter gourds in it i loved the look of it i always enjoy the plants but i am not a very good person to do agriculture i appreciate it I highly appreciate it because I eat from it so I highly highly appreciate it and not this you had lots and lots and lots to see right now in this house this was actually the backyard of the house they have literally converted it into a garden they had greens they had cabbage they had green chilies capsicum what not you say it will be in their garden look how beautiful it is will you believe this is in new york I never I didn't believe actually we reached there one night and I was like looking where are we are we back in Kerala or something you know this was new york i appreciate the effort of uh, my husband's friend and his wife this is a remarkable thing they have done in a new place i would never have done this so i i'm actually out of words i don't know what to say you can just take a look at it even by just looking you will know how much of hard work goes into it that's all we're going to say bye bye to new york and thank you all for watching all these vlogs i appreciate your effort bye bye